is this your first time here with House of Song, or are you returning as well? I'm returning as well. Yeah. I was um, with Stina and uh, Nils Christian the first time here in October last year as well. And what have you been? What have you been doing in the year in between? I've been uh, actually recording some of the songs I wrote here um, uh, since then, and uh, working on a new album, which will come out in the, in the new year. As a songwriter, how do you feel the uh, American songwriters are set up versus in Denmark? Do you feel that they're less protected, right-wise? I've heard that from some of the previous uh, Danish songwriters that have come here, they've said that in Denmark when you write, what you write is, is protective more, more heavily than here in America. Yeah. Actually, I was here in Austin for the first time in 97 uh, to, to be at the South by Southwest Fest Festival and again in 2000. And what really amazed me was the way uh, people worked together and, and they didn't feel like their songs were private things. They was like they wanted to work together. So the whole, uh, the whole idea about co-writing I got from the first time I visited Austin in the late uh, 90s. And, uh, and after that, I actually started a songwriter scene in, in Aarhus, which is my hometown, um, to, uh, to, to, to give a place for Danish songwriters to come and play the songs and, and uh, collaborate and work together uh, with co-writes and, uh, and networking. That's wonderful. So y you took something back from here and got something started there. Yeah, really. Uh, I'm very. Uh, Austin means a lot for me and and, uh, and my songwriting. And since you've been involved with it a year, how did you first hear about House of Songs a year ago? Um, through Troy Campbell, which I've been known for about ten years, and uh, and his friend Paul Krebs, which is a friend of mine in Denmark. Uh, had the first meetings in uh, in June uh, in Denmark, talking about how uh, house of songs could be put together. And uh, I work in a songwriter organization in Denmark called DPA, and uh, <coughs> they are part of this idea as well. Uh, so, so uh, talking with uh, Troy and, and his idea uh, about house of songs uh, started uh, in uh, May June last year. Now, Troy has been in here, and he has commented that. While he had a lot of faith, he really didn't envision how popular the House of Songs would become on both sides of the Atlantic, and that he's just been overwhelmed and blessed mm -hmm. by the response. And when you started out, did you expect that? Uh, I was sure that Danish songwriters would, would have a lot of uh, good things good inspiration and, and, and good work with them at home after Austin, but I was, I was, I was curious to see how the Austin songwriters would, uh, uh, would welcome this idea, but, uh, um, but, but I, my experience is that they, they, they like to come to the House of Songs, meet Danish songwriters, work with us, and uh, take, take us as an inspiration too. Uh, so I'm surprised at how well uh, the songwriters uh, in, in Austin uh, like the idea. What inspires me is that you have these two sides, very different. You know, Denmark mm. is a very old, old country. Mm. You know, deep in culture, and it's citified. And you come here, and you basically got we're a little speck in the middle of the desert. And the there's such a difference in the influence influences that everyone brings and yet when everyone sits down at the table ultimately you're all songwriters mm. and the ideas flow yeah that's amazing yeah so like i've heard some of the songs that they're, they're great 